Hello you guys and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another empties products I've used up video. Accumulated, I mean since my last one's probably over a month, definitely over a month, maybe two. Um, but I've got everything. I just throw all of my empty beauty trash into this little box that sits underneath my bathroom and I'll just tell you guys what I think about the products, whether I would repurchase, do I like it? Did I finish it all? All that good stuff. And let's get started. I love these videos. Find them super helpful for product reviews. All the products I talk about will be linked down below, whether I like them or not, regardless. They'll just be linked down below for you guys in case you're curious about anything. First, starting with this Dr. Teal's Foaming Bath and Pure Epsom Salt bubble bath situation. I liked this. It bubbled well. It smelled nice. And just helped with body aches and things. Um, and yeah, I love a good bubble bath. So I liked this. I like the Dr. Teal's brand in general. I like their Epsom salts, but this bubble bath was nice. It's supposed to be a sleepy kind of thing. I think it's supposed to have melatonin in it. No, not this one. I've had one before that did have melatonin in it, though, but it has magnesium, things like that. They're supposed to help with relaxing the muscles and making you feel more tired. So I love that. This is another thing that I like have a little bit left, I guess, it, like settled. It wouldn't come out before. Maybe I can remove the cap and get it out. But this is the Venus Gillette um, Moisturizing Shower and Shave Cream in Freesia. I use this for shaving in the bath. Another product for the bath. I like this. It's really nice. It's really creamy. It lathers super nice. It leaves my skin feeling not dried out from the bath or anything like that. It's good stuff. So if you're looking for an all-in-one shave, moisturizing body wash situation give this one a go i liked it um yeah i like having one of this in my bath at all times so i do need to pick up another one of those i would repurchase it all right this product what i was hesitant about this when i first bought it honestly it's the trader joe's pumpkin body butter they don't currently have this scent any longer but i already picked up the coconut one because i loved this body moisturizer that much like can you oh i guess i have a little bit on the cap still this is thick you guys it is so thick but it's like butter and it blends into the skin and sinks in and so hydrating i absolutely love this stuff it's like five bucks at trader joe's if you have one nearby get this a go um the pumpkin scent it's strong at first but it doesn't linger on your body but this is a body moisturizer that i can put on at night and it soaks in my skin by the morning and doesn't feel thick on my skin so absolutely love this stuff um i've already repurchased and will continue to repurchase all right, this thing has seen better days. It's a Jouer, 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 I think it's Jouer, um, blush duo. Now, I'm throwing this away a little prematurely, and it's because I do, this color just does not look good on my skin. Um, I don't know, maybe I could, oh, oh goodness. Oh no, a mess. I loved this color off to the side, which is hot coral. I wish they sold it in an individual because I would have bought it. But mine's just like crumbled to the point of no salvation. But I love Jouer blushes. They're probably one of my favorites. I was going to repurchase a Jouer blush, but I wanted to go in person and see them. And I just didn't feel like going into the store. So I just bought NARS Orgasm, which is similar to the Hot Coral. A little bit more deeper, but still, again, just a nice shimmery color. And I, Hot Coral, I loved it. But I would repurchase it if they sold it in singles. But I can't. So I don't know if they sell this palette anymore either it was a summer duo so we'll see if they do next summer okay this used to be one of my favorite masks and i still really love it i just can't get it at sephora anymore which is where i used to purchase origins it's the hello calm relaxing and hydrating face masks with cannabis sativa seed oil so hydrating so amazing i love origins face masks they're some of my favorites um you can use this as an overnight mask if you want but you can just put it on and then towel wash towel like it off and like rub the res the rest of the residue into your skin this would be amazing if you have really red inflamed skin because the green kind of cancels that out a little bit as well but i just loved the scent of this it's very natural smelling it doesn't smell like cannabis so don't freak out about that um but it is so hydrating so soothing and yeah it's a good one but i can't find it at sephora anymore so i would repurchase this if i go into an origin store um i'm not sure if ulta sells it i'll try to find it and link it down below for you guys 
Okay, this is one of my favorite dry shampoos and the only like high-end dry, sh dry shampoo that I will ever buy um, because I've tried a million bajillion, but I love this one. This is the Dry Bar Detox Dry Shampoo. This is the scent Lush. I think they have a couple of different scents, but this is just, this is my sh dry shampoo that I use like three day, four day deep, maybe even five day. This is like your ultimate, like a lot comes out in this thing. You don't need that much. I always overuse it and then I like can't rub it all the way in. You don't need a ton. It like seriously is the most oil absorbing dry shampoo I've ever tried from like a high end version and I, I love it. It's such good stuff. I continue to purchase it. I've already purchased the jumbo size because I love it that much. This is the Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Day Cream. I'm so sad I ran out of this because Scott started using it too. It is so pricey, smells amazing, feels so like, like silky, luxurious. I think they're having a sale right now. I could be wrong, but I think they're having a sale right now. I will see if I can find it and link it down below. I don't know when I'm posting this, so I might not um, have a sale going on, but I'll link it if I do. But I loved this. If you're looking to splurge on a moisturizer, this LMS is so good. So good. I. Okay, I have to say, I have so many moisturizers in my collection that I don't even have opened yet that I probably won't run out and purchase this right away, but if I didn't, I would repurchase this for the daytime. It was awesome. But this is a product I'm not actually finishing up um, because I did not like it. I didn't notice any difference at all. This is the Ula Hendrickson Transform Invigorating Night Transformation Gel. It's an AHA serum, but honestly, I just felt like it did nothing for me. I prefer the Sunday Riley Good Jeans. I, another face serum that I've tried and have already repurchased is the Alpha Arbutane 2% plus HA. So it's a hyaluronic acid serum with a little bit of properties that are going to help with same properties of like vitamin C essentially. It's just really affordable. I have switched to using this like in the morning. Okay, so like I get ready in the or like not get ready in the morning. I get up in the morning, put my gym clothes on, and I put, I like rinse my face off of everything from the night before and I put on this guy. So it's gonna help like protection in terms of like what vitamin C would do. I put on my like toner, like hydrating toner, and then, which is like a, I have it right here, like a thick creamy gel situation um, from Dr. Jart, love that. And then I put on my SPF and a little bit of eye cream and I go to the gym. Um, I stopped using my vitamin C twice a day and I replaced it with this once a day just because my vitamin C is pricey and I just like don't feel like I need it to be like just wash it off in two hours makes sense but I want something on my face to protect it so I've been loving this for that and I already repurchased it very similar to the um, original hyaluronic serum that they have which I have as well um, but it has properties that'll help with pigmentation so love that I am sad to see this product go. I really enjoyed this and I'm like debating if I wanna spend the money to splurge and buy it again. I had, I think this is the second time I've used it. This is the Dr. Dennis Gross Clinical Grade Resurfacing Liquid Peel. It's like an at-home peel, but not, you don't actually peel. It just kind of is like a, think about like the Dr. Dennis Gross peel pads, but like more, like this is like, next level i love this comes with cotton balls and it lasted me honestly a really long time probably longer than it should have it says you can only use it for 12 months i definitely had it over 12 months i used this maybe once a week and it just really helped with my complexion um if you're in the in the market for a, like a exfoliating chemical exfoliator thing and you're like trying to decide i would get the clinical strength over the peel pads i know that it's a little less convenient but i swear by this stuff it's awesome one of my friends in california she um like before she left sephora to work for a different company she bought like five of those like she was that obsessed with it it's good 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 stuff um this next thing i used up were the mighty patches the duos the day and night um they're like acne patches like clear little patches they're good there's different things okay so you don't want to use it on something that hasn't had a white head already and you don't want to use it if you don't have like eight hours to let it sit on your skin. So that's like the drawback. I will wash my face completely, um, let it dry, and then I'll put one of these on and then I'll go in with my serums and creams and stuff. And sometimes it'll like sneak up under the patch and the patch will peel off. So that's kind of annoying, but I don't get a ton of breakouts all the time. So I do like to have these handy when I do. They're good and I probably will repurchase them. It's just kind of like a an annoyance to have to like 
be really careful when you're putting on the rest of your skincare so you don't um, get any oils underneath it and then it'll just like not stick and get rid of it. But you want to use it on more of a white head and not pop the pimple and then put it on because it'll just work better that way. Okay, got <clears throat> a couple of makeup items, two mascaras. I finished up the Maybelline The Rocket. I liked this mascara a lot. I've done a mascara drugstore mascara showdown. I think I've done two of them on my channel. I'll link them down below. I did really like this mascara. I used to use this all the time, but honestly, this is just my favorite, my go-to. I already repurchased another one of this. It's the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. I fell back in love with this guy and yeah, it's good. So if you're looking for a new drugstore mascara, haven't tried out this one or haven't tried it in a while, try it again. I swear it's good stuff. This guy just dried out, used up. This is the Stila All Day Liquid Eyeliner. I don't use this a ton. I use it pretty much when I go out sometimes. Um, it's just a super fine point, tent, point like eyeliner, liquid eyeliner pen. I love this one though. It's the best, I think, for liquid eyeliner. Um, and yeah, I like the fine, fine point of it. It's super easy to use, but I don't wear it a ton, so it does dry out a little bit quicker because I don't use it every single day. Um, and it just kind of sits in my collection. I finished up a nail polish. It's like to the end where it's like goopy, you know? And I tried to save it, use it a couple more times. It's just not the same. So I already ordered another one. You can get this color, like it's part of their full-time collection, which I am so happy. It's the OPI Let's Be Friends. It was part of their Hello Kitty collection. I've gone through, I want to say three or four bottles of this. I love it. It's just a nice opaque, like pinky white sort of color. Uh, yeah. If you don't have one of those in your collection, give that one a go. I swear you're going to love it. And I find that it really does last a while on my nails, so I love that color. I finished up an eye cream. This is the Kiehl's Creamy Avocado Eye Cream. I already have another one. I've already used it. This is one of my favorite, more affordable eye creams. It's still pricey, but it's not as a, insane as some eye creams, and I love it. It's super thick, super creamy, and I find that that's what I need under my eyes is just a lot of hydration, and I love this one. Tip one of y'all taught me is to rub it and warm it up in between your ring fingers before applying it to your skin because it is like very like emollient like it needs to warm up um before it can spread nicely so i love that stuff i finished a divi hair serum this is my second bottle i'm already on my third bottle i've been using it to see some growth on my like scalp trying to just help this is supposed to be aiding against hair thinning, revitalizing and detoxifying, nourishing the hair follicle, and it detoxifies product buildup. I really do like it. I will say, honestly, I had hopes to grow this little spot in my hair. And to be honest, that's just how my hair has always been. I was born that way with a hairline that just went back further than normal. Um, I was looking back at like old videos of myself and I'm like, if pictures of myself, I'm like, hell, you had that way back when. It wasn't postpartum. So I will say that I do love this product. I probably will continue to use it. Um, but I will say that it's not going to make hair grow where you never had hair grow. So if you're balding, but you used to have hair, it probably will help you. I've seen so many amazing stories um, on the Divi Instagram. If you've ever checked it out, it's Danny Austin's company. Love her. And I do really enjoy the product. I use it every single night after I do my skincare routine and I find that it's helping with hair, like the scalp health, but it's not, um, and it's providing growth to some areas on my head, but not to the areas that never had hair, if that makes sense. I don't know why I thought I could make that happen, but it just didn't work. So those are all of my empties products that I've used up in the last couple of months. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed these videos. If you do, let me know by giving this video a big thumbs up. And like I said, everything will be linked down below if you're interested in checking anything out. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.